What a lovely day for football. Welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here for you, along with Alan Smith. Premier League football we have for you. It's coming right up. It's Sheffield United against Chelsea. Yeah, thanks, Martin. I think both teams here are going to be positive. They are set up to attack, so I'm expecting a few goals here today. I don't want to put the mockers on, but I am expecting a few. Well, the home team have a problem. They can't get goals, and actually, in the division itself, they are the lowest scorers. Well, you can blame the forwards, but, you know, the service to them has been shocking at times. For Sheffield United today, well, we put it up and what looks, Alan, very defensive, but there's flexibility, isn't there, in the side? Yeah, and I think with his shape, so much depends on the wing-backs, how much they are allowed to get forward and what they can do when they do get forward. Here's the Chelsea lineup. Andreas Christensen plays with Thiago Silva as the centre backs. And the last player on the team sheet is the one main forward. Thank you. Enjoy the game. What is this game going to bring us? We'll find out now. We're off to the first half. Werner. Havertz. Emerson. Guy Havertz. Conte. See Edge. We could get a cross in here. Referee's not going to like that one. Well, it is an early yellow card here, and that rather sets the tone, perhaps, this referee. He might, uh, I don't know, live to regret it. The player might certainly live to regret it. He might, and uh, it'd be interesting to see if that affects his game, because he's on a tightrope now. Well, I think he's going to go for goal. Why not? Great chance to uh, get his name on the score sheet. shot back into play off the crossbar super block losing possession on Golo Conte you could argue they were just a bit unlucky weren't they with that effort so close to going ahead and they're looking good when they get the ball out wide as they've done here they'll be annoyed with the cross because it was the goalkeeper's ball all the way Christian Pulisic, Werner, Havertz, Chelsea attacking here. Now a chance to get a bit of width into this attack. Werner! Oh, they've opened the scoring here. It's a good start. It's a flying start, really. Well, I know they've been working on this all week long, Martin, and boy, has it paid dividends. Lovely finish. Different angle on it here. Well, it's been tight before that goal, but now the manager, he's so pleased because I reckon he feels his team can go on and win this. Chelsea are ahead now.
Keeping calm in the pursuit of uh, an equalising goal here, not panicking. Cesc Fabregas. News of a goal in the Spurs game from Alan McAnally. It's a goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Hung Min Son. The ball came back off the keeper and he was first to react. 70 minutes played, 1-0. Oh, interesting news again from Alan McAnally. Thanks, Alan. It's going to be Chelsea's corner. Great goalkeeping. Thiago Silva. Christian Pulisic. Read the play well to intercept. Trying to catch the other team out with a quick break here. Oh, time to get the cross now. They've soaked up a lot of danger here, but it hasn't hurt them, and now they're on the ball. Trying to steer it through. Very straightforward piece of goalkeeping as he catches the cross. Werner. Here's a chance to just stretch the opposition with a bit of width. It looked on to really go at the opposition then, but they wasted the opportunity. Cut out by Fabregas. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. Basham. John Fleck. Freeman. Neatly intercepted. It's good play to get a foot in and intercept. That is a cheap piece of play to give the ball away like that. That's the goalkeeper's ball. When he was trying to find his teammate darting through the centre there and probably onside. Chelsea with half-time approaching do have the lead here. Yeah, not often you do see them let a lead slip. A penalty at White Hart Lane, Alan McAnally. It's a penalty for Tottenham Hotspur. He's put the ball down on the spot. Up he steps. Big chance. Oh, it's a great penalty. Brilliant power. Good vision here. Goal! Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. What did you make of it, Alan? Well, I thought he was onside, you know, but uh, he's gone through and tucked it away. But looking at the replay, yes, he had gone a bit early. Cesc Fabregas, Conte, Ziyech, that's a good report from Alan McAnally, but it had to be a brief one, uh, he has told us that Spurs did score in that game, if you missed it, they converted that penalty, it's made the score 2-0. Guy Havertz. The crowd uh, may be expected a bit more, but two added minutes. He's got possession back for his team. Well, look at the room in which to attack. Time to get the ball in. Great interception. And that's half-time. Signalled by the referee. 1-0 the half-time score. Played well in the first half, Chelsea. They've got this half-time lead. Werner, Conte, Guy Havertz, they've got the ball back by that interception. Let's hear about a goal in the Leeds United match from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Liverpool, 49 minutes played, 3-0. Well, many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. He's cut it out. Trying to get the ball in behind. Wonderful chance! And he's gone!
Well, what a lovely through ball that was, Martin. Perfectly weighted and beautifully finished. Well, it's a goal worth replaying over and over again, isn't it? Restarting at 2-0. to a wide man who's got room now Fabregas Kai Havertz well we're getting news of a goal Alan McAnally can tell us about it at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium it's a third goal Conte that's quite a comfortable save really Alan McAnally who loves his football and he's enjoying this game I can tell that but just a quick word from him about that Spurs goal the score is now 3-0. Alan, what about Chelsea's next game? They're playing Leeds United in their next match. And the way that they're playing, I think they'll win it pretty comfortably. Just want to give you some transfer news, Alan. It's uh, Borussia Dortmund who bought this fella. Yeah, it's a fairly big transfer, isn't it? We're here, about £25 million. And I think this player is worth that figure, though. Opportunity in a wider area. It's a very good clearance and it was needed. Werner. A penalty at Leeds. It's a penalty for Liverpool. He's put the ball down on the spot. Just about to take it, runs up. Oh, and he balloons it wide, miles wide. You will not be happy with that. 66 minutes played. It remains 3-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Won it back with an interception. See edge. Alan McAnally is our man at Tottenham Hotspur today with news of a goal in that match. It's another goal for Tottenham Hotspur. It's been scored by Lucas. A sweetly struck volley to finish off a lovely flowing move. 70 minutes played, 4-0. Eagle eyes, as always, from Alan McAnally. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Luke Freeman, to be replaced by number 16, Oliver Norwood. Thiago Silva. Pulisic. Now Emerson. Striding forward, purposefully. Looking for a teammate arriving late. Home team ready to make a change. Can't keep the ball at the moment. That's Billy Quetta. That's cut out. John Fleck. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Now the countdown is to 10 minutes left. Well, he's read that, hasn't he, and made the interception. Made it look easy, actually. This does look promising. And the goalkeeper can take charge now. Here's Conte. That's a turnover of possession here. Well, look at the room in which to attack. It's a brave effort, really, in amongst the players to get the header in, but off target, way off target. Yeah, not his best effort, that's for sure. Well, that's what substitutes are for, to be used. And we've got one coming on now. And look at the clock now, three minutes to go. An opportunity here, with some space to work the ball into. 
pass, pass, pass. And the player with the ball has so many options, so they work so hard off the ball to make those options possible. Yeah, and it's not been passing for passing sake either. They've uh, made inroads into the enemy territory. And he's blown his whistle for the last time. Sometimes you get a win by nicking the result, really, but not today. They've gone out there on the front foot, stayed on the front foot, got what they deserved. Yeah, not just the strikers, the way they did attack as a team. Um, the players that assisted the goals, it, it was first class from start to finish.